This is video number two of the uh, Tuesday morning woofer walk. I guess it's actually almost the afternoon. Um, I think it is the afternoon actually by now. <laughs> uh, anyway, woofer walk, Tuesday afternoon. This is our newbie. I'm out of breath, sorry. I've been running up and down the beach <laughs> to keep up with this puppy, Georgie. <laughs> I've got her on a 50 foot line. Hi Lolo. Hi. I got her on a 50 foot line so that I can't lose her because uh, puppies, you know, they have no recall. They want to go say hi to everybody and all that stuff. So got to make sure I can reel her in if I need to. Hi Milo. There's Milo, one of our old client, older clients. He's back to join us for a woofer walk today. So happy to have him back. Missed him a lot. We missed you so much. Okay, who else is here? <gasps> Grandpa Lolo. Hi, Grandpa Lolo. And Polo and Ty, the white guys. Ty's the little palm. Polo's the, uh, what do you call it? Oops, sorry, Polo. The, uh, oh gosh, what are they called? What are they called? What are you called again? Oh gosh, Polo. Oh, Eskimo, Eskimo. <sighs> oh, you be nice. Don't you bug Polo. He doesn't like to play rough. So it's Georgie's first day. So she's, you know, she's gonna learn her her do her um her wo her woofer manners by going out on regular woofer walks with us. The other the other woofers will teach her what is acceptable behavior and what isn't. Right now she's barking at Lolo because Lolo has a stick. <laughs> Get the stick! Come on, Georgie! Bring that stick! Come on, Georgie! Come on, Georgie. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, she's so happy she got the stick from Lolo. It's a, it's more like a little log. <laughs> Come on, Polo. Come on, Ty. Where's that Milo gone? There he is. Come on, Milo. Come on, Milo. Good boy. I just love Milo's red jacket. <laughs> You're getting your long line caught on everything, aren't you? That's probably good, though. We wouldn't want you to get too far too fast. I already spent a lot of time chasing that pupper up and down the beach so that she wouldn't get too far from me. Good boy, Milo. Hi, Ty, Ty. <laughs> oh, it's such a nice day. Really is perfect weather for walking woofers nice and crisp and cool so we don't get all sweaty when we're running around but it's dry so we don't get all wet hi tai tai hi tai tai this is tai guy and lolo gosh lolo's how old are you now like nine or something come on guys let's go there's polo 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 Come on, Milo. Now this is where, see the puppy isn't paying attention to what we're doing. So what I do in these situations is I try to call their bluff. I want them to worry that if they don't pay attention to where we are, they will lose us. So, bye Georgie. Bye George, I'm leaving. Hopefully she will realize that we're gone soon. Good kids. Okay, hide around the corner here. Yeah, I see that she, she can't see us anymore, so she's she's coming. Good girl! Good girl, Georgie! Good girl, Georgie! So good! Oh my goodness, good girl! You didn't want to lose us. That's fantastic. That's a really good sign. That's what we look for when we're walking woofers for the first time. We like to see that they care where we go. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you gotta really pay attention to that because some dogs, some breeds like Shebas, they sometimes don't care so much about packs. Most woofers, most doggies are pack animals, but there are some breeds that just, you know, they're, they'll hang with the pack, but they stay very far on the outskirts, and I don't like that because I can't control 
um, what's going on then? Like, what if there's a dangerous dog or, I don't know, something. So I want to be able to have some recall and have them not go too far. Hi, guys. <coughs> I might be catching a cold. <laughs> Lolo, are you eating grass? Really? It's not even summer anymore. You still like the grass? I don't mind if they eat the grass here because it's, uh, it's not sprayed with any chemicals. So it's okay. As long as they don't get obsessive about it and fill up their guts with it. It's okay, a little bit of grass. I mean, Lolo's nine, he's been eating grass his whole life. He's okay. We just always make sure that it's grass that's not been sprayed with chemicals or pesticides or whatever. Milo! My buddy. Come on, Milo, good boy. Come on, good boy. Come on, Milo. Come on, Milo. Come on, Milo, we gotta keep up with that puppy. We gotta keep up with the puppy. Gotta keep up with that pupper. Milo! Good girl. See, she even looks back to make sure I'm there. That's lovely. Good girl, Georgie. Hello, Milo. Come on, guys. Don't be so pokey. Milo's always been pokey. He's one of those types that I was talking about, like, he does care about the pack, but he likes to be on his own with the pack, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so I just, that's fine with me, as long as he's not too far behind or too far ahead. Good boy. Gotta keep the pack within a reasonable uh, distance from each other. Just wanna make sure everybody stays safe, right? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. So we're just heading down to the beach now. We just uh, we were just on it and now we took a little trail to get to the other side of the beach. There she just looked at me again to make sure that I was coming. I'm referring to Georgie the puppy. It's really good. Really good. Hi, Polo. Hi, Tai Tai. We're almost back to the beach, so I'm gonna turn this off because the video is getting long and I'll start it again.